All right, more local news now. A lot of green up for grabs today in the state's medical marijuana lottery drawing. Now, this has actually been years in the making, and now five new dispensaries are going to be selected today by the Department of Business Regulation. Kate Walsh is live this morning with more on how they're making this a secure and random selection. Right, Kate? Yeah, and today they're going to be using an old school lottery system. I mean, just how you see it for every other kind of lottery that's selected to figure out who will have the five new medical marijuana dispensaries of the six that are allowed in Rhode Island moving forward. Now, it's a highly competitive process. There are dozens of qualified applicants here, so the state isn't taking any chances. They're using balls from the Rhode Island lottery, and these were shown last Friday to the media as an example, but the real ones have been inspected by experts at URI and sealed in a briefcase with bomb squad tape. The tumbler is from Twin River Casino, and the person selecting the winning numbers is a former FBI agent who will be blindfolded for the process. Now, the chief of the Office of Cannabis Regulation explained why it's so important for this to be done randomly. We want everybody in Rhode Island, um, patients, uh, policymakers, and most importantly, the folks who are in this lottery, to have confidence and, um, and see for themselves that this is being done in a truly random fashion. So currently there are three medical marijuana dispensaries open. The state did approve the opening of six more, those six zones, but only five of those zones will have an applicant selected in the lottery today. And I'll explain why zone six will have to wait a little bit longer in the next half hour. But for now, we're live in Providence. I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News. More now on this highly anticipated lottery that's been years in the making. Today, five new medical marijuana dispensaries will be selected for the state of Rhode Island. Kate Walsh joining us live in Providence with how this selection process will work. Kate. Well, Patrick, much like the lottery that people play, this one will have lots of profits up for grabs, millions of dollars likely for the people who win this lottery. There will be five winners, but there are several uh, qualified uh, contenders for these five slots, and they will fill five of the six zones that Rhode Island has allowed for these extra medical marijuana dispensaries. So take a look at your screen here. You can see those zones listed here. The state is divided into six geographic zones and lawmakers mandated that there be one more open in each location to add on to the three existing ones the state has. So today five of the six zones will get that new dispensary selected and this lottery selection has been repeatedly delayed as an applicant for zone six was disqualified and was appealing the decision. But instead of holding back all zones any longer, the Department of Business Regulation is moving forward with the lottery for all zones but zone six today. It's an important opportunity and an important moment for our medical marijuana program and for our patient population. Um, they're going to have more places to buy clean, safe and, um, and affordable medicine. Um, we're going to have a more competitive and hopefully more vibrant market in our state um, and we're excited to get it done. So today, the Department of Business Regulation will randomly select the five winners. The number balls are from the Rhode Island Lottery that have been inspected and locked in a briefcase. The tumbler from Twin River Casino and the person selecting the numbers is a former FBI agent and will be blindfolded. So completely random and they hope it will all be fair by setting up this method. It's expected to happen at 10 o'clock this morning and we'll update you as soon as those businesses are selected to open the next medical marijuana dispensaries here in Rhode Island. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.